Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. I'm back with my brand new project, the Camera Phone Challenge Part 2. The first project was a huge success, but this time around I want to do something that's bigger, better, more complex, more insight, showing you what it takes. I also want to see where I could take cell phone photography. I want to see what I could do when I push the technology to its limits. The awesome people at HTC sent me a phone test and shoot specifically for this project. It's a brand new phone, the One X. This phone is perfect for this kind of shoot, uh, especially with being a phone with such heavy photography features. It's pretty much built to be used uh, for something like this, which gives me more motivation to push to its limits and see what it can really do, see where I can take pretty much the best phone on the market and see what I can get with it. Here we go. Uh, now we're gonna show you process for this project. For this project I brought a team of very talented makeup artists and models to help take this project to the next level. This time around I want to show more of the actual shooting process rather than editing. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into the shooting uh, element of a project like this. Um, you don't use your typical photography strobes and lights and flashes for a project like this. For this shoot, I used uh, continuous lights, hot lights, uh, stuff you might see in a movie production. But you have to go into it with a mindset of trying to capture it like a movie rather than uh, your standard photography shoot. The lighting's completely different. The way you go about capturing an image is completely different. You're not using your standard strobes and flashes. Um, with your SLR, not everything's triggered. Uh, for a shoot like this, it's more of like a movie production. You have your hot lights, your continuous lights, um, a constant rolling of capture of what you're trying to get. So whenever you see what you want to shoot, go for it. The editing process is very similar to last time. You're using the typical curve and brightness adjustments but to go along with that, there's a ton of isolated selections for color enhancement adjustments. To finish off the photos, I used a lot of my original styling adjustments to help the picture really pop off the screen. At the end of the day, all this project is about showing that if you can't afford the newest Nikon or Canon, don't let your lack of equipment hold you back. Don't let it hinder your vision and your passion for photography or expression. If you have something that can shoot a photo, the world's at your fingertips. 